Um, I've been working my can off trying to get people to register to vote at CMHC. And a lot of people are newly registered voters. And this is going to be their first time voting. It makes a difference in, in our community where we live at, what's happening with us, or with our health care, with our wellness, with you know the schools, with the public, and all these things makes a big difference. I'm just sitting here thinking about, I know that every vote counts. Yes. We, as a whole, should be pushing them and telling them that she's upstairs, Bye. asking people, do, do you vote? Are you registered to vote? If you're not registered to vote, then you can. And we have Deborah upstairs and she will help you. I never voted. Never voted? Never. And I'm not registered either. So, I mean, I, want, I really want to do it this year. Well, yeah. well you're in luck. There's three things in order to vote. One, you have to be a U.S. citizen, and you have to be at least 18 on election day. And if you had a felony, you have to be off of parole. You can vote if you're on probation. Being on parole, you cannot vote at all. Now that you know you're eligible to vote, it's time to register. The form asks for your Connecticut driver license number or your last four digits of your social security number. You can also use the number on your Connecticut ID card. If you don't have your license or ID and don't know your social security number, send in your form anyway. Forms without birth dates and unsigned forms will be rejected. Did you know that if you're homeless, you're still able to vote? Use New Haven Green as your address, 100 Elm Street, New Haven. Once you complete your form, you'll mail it to the registrar of voters in the town that you live in. You will receive a letter in the mail confirming that you are now a registered voter. We recommend that you finish your voter registration form as quickly as possible so that you reach the deadline. At Connecticut Mental Health, we provide voter registration services to all clients. We will help you fill out the form. We will help you find the address for your register of voters. We will even stamp and mail the form for you. According to state law, we also help clients on the inpatient unit register to vote and to get absentee ballots. We at Connecticut Mental Health Center are nonpartisan. We do not represent any political party or candidate. And we will not interfere with your decision on who you want to vote for. You will be voting in your own neighborhood. If you don't know where to go, you can call the Registrar of Voters or check online. Before you vote, educate yourself. Find out about the candidates. Use the library as a resource. If you need a ride to vote, then call your local campaign office and they may be able to help you out. You can apply for an absentee ballot if your health issues prevent you from making it to the polls. Voting is important because you get a chance to find out the situations that's going on, situations that you wanna see be fixed in your community. Voting for me, as far as my recovery, I would say is a big part of my life because it helps keep facilities open like Connecticut Mental Health, a facility that I work at, and also I'm a client there also. For me, I love to vote because it makes me feel empowered. Um, when I first found out that people that have mental illnesses can vote, 
it made me feel so happy to know that I can do that because there was a time that I didn't think that I was able to do this. So now your voice will be heard making that choice to vote and we hope that you will come out and vote.